With the power input jack all taken care of, it's time to wire the power supply. With the power supply wired, it's time to do a procedure that I will be repeating many times throughout this build. And that is testing using my dim bulb tester. How it works is power supplied by the cord here, runs through these light bulbs and also this current meter before it gets to the output uh, plug here. This is what feeds the amplifier. So with the amount of wattage with these light bulbs, I can control the current flow through the entire system. This prevents things from blowing up in case I have a really bad short somewhere. And with a new build, always do this. You never trust yourself. So, well, here we go. All right, I've got everything turned on through my dim bulb tester. Nothing has blown up, that's good. But we have a pilot light. That means at least the heater supply is working. Now we're going to test the various other supplies to make sure they're what they're supposed to be. When you're probing a power amplifier, especially a vacuum tube amplifier, which has deadly voltages inside of it, you always probe with one hand. My other hand is actually behind my back right now. Some people put it in their back pocket. I just automatically put it behind my back. And I've got the ground of the probe over here set up so that I can go and check various voltages to make sure everything's okay. Now you probe with one hand because if you probe with two hands, there's a possibility that you could get a current running across your body and that could stop your heart. That's not cool. So hand behind your back, probe with one hand, always, always. Now let's turn it on, see what we got. And we got the heaters, so let's just check my heater supply. Ooh, it looks good. That looks good as well. There you go. This is to be plus 322 volts. The other side, 322 as well. Now let's check the, change it to DC and check the bias voltage. It should be minus, minus 68, it's good. I think we're ready to throw a rectifier tube in and see what happens. truth. There's definitely current flowing. That rectifier tube should be uh, turning on now. Let's give it a little bit more current. Oh, there we go. Current is still microscopic. So we're going to let that rectifier tube build it up a little bit and then we'll test the voltage behind it. Remember, hand behind your back. This should be my B plus, which should be 334 volts DC. Excellent. All right, on to the next stage of the power supply. We've got the board installed, as you can see. Bus ground is connected. Bias pod is installed. And all of the various power supply nets are wired. The doghouse is installed, and I've actually got the lid on the doghouse to avoid giving myself a lifter accidentally. And now I'll just walk through what everything is. So, this is the main source of power right here. This is the, the B-plus voltage, un, uh, regulated but unfiltered. It goes to here, a 
from this point here, it enters the doghouse and gets regulated, and the current negative supply from that goes here. This is the noisy part of the ground right here. This is the quiet part, and this is the noisy part. From there, it goes to and from the standby switch into this point here, goes through the choke, and then back into the doghouse for the preamp circuits. So the ground for the preamp circuits comes back over here, gets kind of to the ground at that point. Uh, one part of the circuit for the uh, for the power for for the power amplifier a phase splitter. This is another one that's for the driver for the reverb, and this is the one that goes to the various points for the preamp. Now I'm going to get my bulb tester, and we'll try it out and measure the voltages and make sure nothing is awry. We've checked all the supply voltages and everything is as we expect. Now everything is shut off. I'll just turn those off. Everything's shut off for the dim bulb tester, but I'm going to turn these guys off too. And now what we need to do is just charge the capacitors. That's what this guy is for. If you're working on tube amps, you need one of these things. This thing is specifically for discharging those capacitors, which we need to do before we work on the amps more. 